Hey, girls and boys, ladies and gentle beings. Uh, this is Ghost Gamer. Uh, what we're going to do is actually another little, uh, hopefully much shorter uh, t tutorial, if you will, uh, compared to the one I did on some of the DX Tori settings. This, this one actually just covers audio. Uh, because there's been quite a few questions, and even I had to th fumble through it in, in order to uh, get it to work uh, concerning audio. Uh, more specifically, and most of the. I can't talk today at all. Most specifically, if you are trying to record both in game audio and also uh, like a voiceover or a voice commentary or, or whatever, and you're using a separate. Uh, mic input or a uh, separate audio input in DX Tori. what it does is it actually records two different channels uh, if you will one for your game audio and one for uh, your commentary and if you're using something like uh, Windows Movie Maker I believe it is uh, or Premiere uh, whether you're a student or you download a trial copy or whatever you'll see that you only have one audio channel uh, down here and if I were to play this and which I don't know if it's going to work or not but you'll notice that there is no commentary at all which can be a bit of annoying and uh, a little bit of an inconvenience now I've looked across the, the interwebs uh, in the past when I first got DX Tori and started using it and there was a couple different blogs and things of that nature where they're like, oh yeah, just download this plugin or this uh, this program and do this and do that. And it, it was a huge pain in the rear end. It was kind of confusing. And so it was one of those things where I actually recorded some of the segments uh, outside of DX Tori and actually just used my uh, uh, HD PVR to record it. Uh, that way I could get both my commentary and the in-game audio and then I came across uh, something by accident which worked out really well and it's extremely simple and easy to use all you have to do is you go to your video file uh, which in this case this video is take two underscore two so this would be this AVI all you have to do is right click on it and click on extract audio stream now depending on how long your video is and all that good jazz this could take a minute but what it does is it kicks out two different uh, WAV files ST0, ST1 uh, if memory serves me correct ST0 is your in-game audio so that would be this file right here ST1 will be your commentary uh, so what I'll do is you will just essentially drag your S... oh what the hell that's not what I wanted that's what I wanted. All I'll do is I'll go through and I'll drag the ST1 into uh, whatever your editor you're using. In this case, I'm using Premiere Pro because I got it with uh, all my lovely perks of being in school. Uh, let's see what else. And now, if I play it, I get both commentary and in game audio. So, that is essentially all you have to do. I'm not quite sure how it works with the Final Cut. I haven't tried it on my Mac yet because when it comes to video games, I pretty much play everything on my PC. Uh, there's only two games that I play on my Mac, one of which is a F1 2013, 2014, something like that. Uh, and the other one's a cheesy game that's pretty much only for Mac. I have not tried it in Final Cut Pro. Uh, I'll actually try that a little bit later on, and I will share the results with you guys probably in uh, the comments below or as a video comment or a video response or whatever you want to call it to let you guys know if you are a Mac user how it works out inside Final Cut. Um, if you are one of those people who like using Sony Vegas because it's a little bit more user friendly or whatever, what have you, it actually pulls in both audio tracks whenever you insert the footage so you don't have to go through this extra step with all that said and done uh, that's pretty much all there is to it um, granted there may be other video editors out there that do it natively natively like Sony Vegas I personally am not a fan of Sony Vegas 
I downloaded the trial it took like four or five times longer to render out my videos just based on a couple demos that I tried I did not care for it whatsoever I will stick with Premiere and possibly Final Cut uh, but yeah if you're using a PC you have DXTory installed I don't know if that's one of the requirements for this uh, right click option because I do not recall seeing it uh, prior to installing DXTory when I was just using Fraps uh, but hey House the Lasagna don't get any on you and with that being said actually uh, whoever comes up with uh, the <laughs> whoever brings out and mentions what movie that movie quote is from you get little bonus brownie points uh, even though it wasn't a very good film at all and I absolutely loathe the lead actor either way what have you uh, as is with all of our videos if you have any questions concerns comments please by all means leave them in the comment section uh, we will get back to you as soon as well I can um, if you found this video helpful at all or you like the video please click like click subscribe that helps us out a lot it lets us know what you guys are actually looking for what you guys are actually watching what you're wanting and all that other good stuff if you want something specific uh, if you want us to or, well me as of right now to start playing a video game that uh, we have I, I need to stop with the Wii if you want us if you want me to play a game that is not up yet by all means let me know I'll either go out to GameStop or I'll hop on Steam or something and or even go to Best Buy which I'd much rather go to like Tiger Direct or Newegg but either way let me know I'll get a hold of a copy either via stream or from the store and I'll start uploading that again till next time you guys take it easy